Hey everybody, it's Kelly. I was just gonna do this video. I know I recently posted the Z32 Solve and I just wanted to go into a little bit more detail about it. Um, obviously I didn't post everything that I saw in the code and there was something that you could tell that was censored and I'm not going to go into that at this moment, but I just wanted to kind of give a little bit more evidence and go into a little bit more proof of how I know that this is right and the steps that I took to make sure that the layout was the same exact size. So in the video I showed, I purchased a map online. This is the 1968 Phillips 66 map. And whenever you open it up somewhere, uh, yeah, right here, you can see right there, the San Francisco. This is the same thing that the Zodiac Killer would have mailed or did mail and he wrote over it. Um, there's just a few things that are different. It's a year apart. Um, like some of the markings in the certain places are, look a little bit different, but for the most part, it's the same. Um, same size, they wouldn't have changed the format of the size is my point within a year of production. And so this is what you saw in the video that I was using. Um, I printed it out. This is a high quality um, map. And this is where he had drawn um, his little diagram of where the bomb was gonna be set. Um, so most importantly, I wanted to just kind of go over a few things. Uh, uh, someone on another forum had asked me or, or pointed out that the most important clue was the magnetic north, and how did I explain that away? Well, it's not the most important clue. That wasn't the most important clue in the Z32. He sent that letter, this letter, um, which has the code on it. I don't have it right here, of course. Here, here it is. I'll try to lay it like that. And you can see that this is where it says coupled with. Um, in my previous video, starting back to the first documentary that I did, I showed how I realized that they needed to be coupled. They did need to have like an overlay. Um, it was very, very clear the map coupled with this code will show you where the bomb is set. Um, first, let me just go ahead and say he was not communicating um, just to us people um, or anybody who could solve it. This was messages that were intended to a third party or third parties. And those people by name, I obviously do not know. Um, I have some speculation and some theories and the detectives have that as well. But anyway, we won't go into that. Right at this moment, I'll just kind of keep on topic here and explain a few things. The man knew how to spell. His name is in the code. His name is in the 340 code. His name is in the Z13 code. His name is in the Z32 code in full. Complete, full name, first name, last name. He's even given clues about um, you know, being Greek. And he also, and he also gives clues about his address on Jackson Street. Um, I pointed all that out in the Z32. So basically my theory is that he was communicating with a third party whenever he wrote the Z32 um, and he wrote the letter. Remember that he did demand that they print everything in the paper when he sent something. Um, there was a reason for that, I would imagine, because he needed to communicate with someone. Someone on the outside needed to see it. They didn't need to have tracking or tracing or um, any kind of proof that these people were communicating with each other. Uh, so anyway, without getting into further detail with all of that, um, it is evident that he was communicating with somebody and that person did know where he was intending to, to set the bomb. 